I was gonna go live, but I'm too much of a pussy, so I'm not. Um, but I thought I'd come on here because I have not done makeup in over a month, mainly because I am moving. Actually, I already bought my house. Everything's over there for the most part, um, but my shit is still not unpacked. And I did get my Powerpuff Girls order today. I bought the whole collection, so I thought we would just play with that. Um, this is just gonna go on my IGTV because I'm filming it this way. I mean, I am in an office that's with natural lighting. I don't have my lighting that's still packed. I don't have a ring light. We are just doing very old school new YouTuber. <laughs> We're gonna deal with it. The first thing at the top of the box are these hair clips. I think they're very cute. I honestly, I'll be honest, I'm not a huge fan of like branded things. So I wish they didn't say ColourPop. I do like that we have one of each of the girls. Next, I have these lip masks. We have sugar and spice and everything nice. We can go ahead and smell these. This is from 4-3 Beauty. They're like one of the sister brands of ColourPop. This kind of smells like sweet tarts. Let's see if this one smells any different. And this one smells like that fake coffee smell that they put in like candles and shit, like that caramel coffee hazelnut smell that they put in candles. Um, I'll see how those work. I'm not gonna try those out right now. Then we got the Rollerball Lip Glosses. Oh my God, this packaging is so cute. Look at that. That's so cute. I don't want to throw any of this packaging away. Like, I am obsessed with Powerpuff Girls. I have been since I was, you know, I was an older teen when they came out and I learned about them, um, but I loved them. I know when they revamped it, my biggest beef is that they did not use the same voice actors, but that's neither here nor there. But let's smell these. So this one is Blossom. It smells like watermelon. See if they all smell the same. Bubbles. Yeah, I think they all smell the same. And Buttercup. No, hers is kind of like green apple. Maybe Bubbles is different, but it kind of still smells like watermelon to me. Okay, so on the back it does say the flavor. So yes, Blossom is watermelon, Buttercup is green apple, and Bubbles is blue raspberry. Those are cute. I'm not a huge fan of roller balls because I don't like getting things dirty. Even when I use a lip gloss with a doe foot, I will scrape the gloss off of the doe foot, put it on my hand or on a lipstick brush, and then put that on my lips if I'm using a lipstick or lip liner because I cannot stand when things get dirty. And roller balls, you can't really clean and it gets like underneath the ball. Ugh, gross. All right, next we have those color sticks. I've never used this formula. Um, the first one is Him. Him is my favorite villain. The way that they got away with Him on Cartoon Network on a show for children, I will never understand. He is such, he's like a gay icon and borderline BDSM <laughs> type person. But yes, his is red. And then we have a green one for Mojo Jojo. Also love him. He's hilarious because he just gets in his own way half the time. This one is a pretty green metallic shade. The hymns was kind of metallic too. I think these are all metallic if I remember correctly. And then Princess Morbux. I'll be honest, this one irritates the shit out of me. I know they wanted to do Blossom Bubbles and Buttercup on everything. But when I think of Princess Morbux, I think of yellow. If they were gonna do a blue, they should have done the Amoeba Boys because they're kind of like greenish blue. That would have made more sense. Or they could have done Fuzzy Lumpkins because he has like that big blue nose, but whatever, it's fine. And then yes, that is a shimmery blue. And yeah, the packaging on this is really cute. Inside each of them, like on the flap and everything. 
has the individual villains. All right, this blush is in the shade Saving the World. Again, cute packaging on the inside. And this shade is like a coral orangey shade. Um, it looks brighter on camera than it does in person. Very wearable, very cute. All right, this one is called Fighting Crime. Again, it looks deeper on camera, but it's like a purpley pinky shade, again, with the cute packaging. Oh, this is from Soul Body, the other sister brand. This is a bubble bar. I have used bubble bars before for my kid from Lush. Ooh, that smells divine. Am I gonna let my kid use that? Probably. I'll probably let him use that. All right, and the Pièce de la Résistance is this palette right here. All the shade names are on the back. And again, the cute packaging on the inside. And then here is the color story. Much brighter in person, in my opinion. The only thing I wish, like, I don't mind this light shimmery shade here. I kind of wish we would have gotten rid of the neutrals because there really aren't any neutrals in that whole show. Maybe putting a yellow for Princess Morbox, um, something for Fuzzy Lumpkins, um, something for the gang. Well, I guess we kind of have the gang green gang here. Um, maybe a black and a white for Professor Utonium, something like that. Like, there aren't really any neutrals in the show. Even when they show Townsville, it's not, there aren't a lot of neutrals. That's my only complaint about the collection. But anyway, let's go ahead and try this shit out. I'm gonna prime with the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer in Eden. Oh, I just noticed this palette actually has a mirror. We don't usually get mirrors in ColourPop palettes. That makes me happy. I don't know what, is the unicorn like all over this shit new? Because if I remember correctly, none of the girls have a unicorn. Like Bubbles has, an octopus as a stuffed animal, and I don't know if Buttercup had a stuffed animal. It doesn't matter. There's just unicorns all over everything, and I don't remember there being unicorns in the original show. But what the hell do I know? I'm old. I think I'm gonna go in first with this shade here. This is called The Fashionistas. They're not, they're six. They're not known for fashion. Anyway. Oh shit, she's powdery. Okay, okay. Jesus. All right. I'm just gonna um pop that in to the crease there. Actually do, yeah, there's a lot of kickback in this shit. Is, um like this shape here. I'm gonna go into the like um, neutral matte shade here. Just lightly. And then just soften up those edges. That's pretty pigmented too. Um, I like the green. So I'm gonna go into Chemical X here. This is going on really nice, and it's um, staying true to color. I really like this color. And then um, I'll just take some of this champagne -y shimmer for the very inner corner. It's kind of pinky, but champagne pink. And just kind of finger bang those together to blend them. Okay, 
Should we use the fun blush or the orange blush? I think because I already looked a little crazy enough, I'm just going to use the orange blush. I'm saving the world. These are really cute. Oh, pigmented. Okay, nice. So probably the pink one is going to be extra pigmented. Which is fine. Just dab in lightly. I think I saw someone use this shade here as a highlighter. I'm going to try that. A blinding highlight, which we're not really doing anymore, but I don't mind it. Let's finish up these eyes. Since I didn't use the blue, I am going to go in with the blue crayon thing here. Put this in my waterline. Those are nice. Um, I really like ColourPop's gel liners though, and that's what it reminds me of, just a thicker version of that. That's nice. Okay, moving along. I do want to take some of this blue here very lightly and smoke underneath there. Uh, let's put on this lip liner. This is uh, ColourPop's BFF. bubbles because she's my favorite Powerpuff Girl. Yay, I didn't get it dirty. It's not sticky, so that's good. It's a it's a gloss like it's it's a gloss let's be honest we all bought this collection for the cuteness and the nostalgia so that's it this is my very quick little rundown of all the products um of everything that i tried the palette's very nice very pigmented blushes but very pigmented gloss i mean fucking take them or leave them they're all clear they just have a different yeah they don't taste like anything they just all smell different um there's like a hint of blue raspberry don't know about the masks yet didn't try the clips yeah the little crayon thingies are nice it's cute um i think it's worth the price i think for the whole collection it was 115 dollars. i think that's fair you're getting quite a bit of things um yeah recommend i mean everything works but it's supposed to See you on my story. See you on my feed. Adios.